Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Universal Studios Florida. I'm back here today to do another vlog video. It's been a while since I've been at Universal Studios, specifically last one I did was over at Islands, but there's a brand new Jurassic Park tribute store celebrating the 30th anniversary of the original Jurassic Park movie. And I gotta go in there and check it out. You know, I'm a tribute store connoisseur. I love tribute stores. They're one of my favorite things that Universal does uh, just in general, but specifically for the events. Whenever a new event comes around, I look forward to the tribute store, quite possibly the most in most cases other than Halloween Horror Nights, of course. But we're gonna head in there, check out the tribute store, check out some other construction updates that have been going on in the park because there have been some new stuff happening, especially when it comes to the new Minion Land. So yeah, let's just hop in and hit up the park. Okay, it is just after park open and the tribute store is right here. It isn't really too busy right now, so I'm excited to go in there and check it out with not really a big crowd. As you see, there is usually a line over here. So uh, yeah, let's pop in the store. So right over here we have the stop motion and animation department. We have a little bit of a mini model of that infamous T-Rex scene, as well as the scene playing out on the TV over here. So sort of showing how it was put together, which is really, really cool. And then just next to it we have some sculptures. So sort of showing how they put the models of the dinosaurs together. Here specifically we see the sort of evolution of the Dilophosaurus, which is seen in the movie. And back on this corner we have a new sort of home theme line from a company. And they have a little cool little ad over here playing on one of the TVs. Right here we get a look at some of the vehicle designs and costume designs, but mostly vehicle designs. I love how right here in the center we have the T-Rex, the main star of the show at Jurassic Park, I would say. A nice little model. And along with the faux sort of second story, we also see some of the models used for the T-Rex, so sort of the frame they use to build the T-Rex. This is so spectacular. I just love the layout of this room. It's really nice, really gives you that office feel. On top of the T-Rex, you also see some storyboards, costumes for the big three of the series, and just all these like doors and windows with cool details. If you look up there, there's a little post-it note that says, looks like a ride. That's of course a reference to River Adventure, which is a ride. Here we see more on the sort of plywood T-Rex, the building of the T-Rex, and you can see that in full scale in the center of the room, which is really cool. Now uh, a process of chicken wire and fiberglass is laid over the, the, the chassis of the, of the creature's body. And I love this. They have a whole section dedicated to my favorite Jurassic Park character, Ian Malcolm. I love a lot of this new Japanese themed merch. It's a lot of like the universe style stuff they have over in California, but I think it's a really cool style. I think it's really neat to bring it out for the 30th anniversary, and uh, really cool to see this new, more streetwear inspired merch come to the parks just in general. Of course, here you have your just generic 30th anniversary merch, although this merch is really, really cool. I love, I love this logo right here. I just love how it combines the classic logo, something new, and something familiar with the sort of banner here. And they have it in pins, lanyards, cups, everything. There's so much merch with this logo on it, which is great because it's a great logo to have on some merch. Over here, we have the post-production department, which is like ILM. We have this flag that was up in their offices. Little look into the ILM offices. And if you saw that Psycho 2 poster in the background of that last photo, we have a bigger version right here. Of course, a reference to the Alfred Hitchcock show that used to be here, as well as some references to Terminator 2, which also used to live in Hollywood at Universal Studios Florida. So, what you'll be seeing on the flat screen is, you know, the car, Dr. Grant, um, and uh, make sure that, you know, looks where Dr. Grant is. This store, I think, also marks the debut of Jurassic Park-themed Roosevelt's in the park. They do have these online. These have been available, but they had Jaws ones and, like, Back to the Future ones last summer. So I'm happy to see some Jurassic Park ones. They have a good amount of in-gen merch here. You have polos, you have lanyard, you have pins. So that's, like, one of the lines they're really focusing on with this store here. I love this pass holder shirt. It's really cool. It just has this really great design. Kind of retro, kind of new. Like a lot of stuff that's going on with this 30th anniversary. So 
So into the second room, they actually recreated the iconic kitchen scene from the original film with a giant raptor here. This is sort of like a photo op. This is pretty intense, but I love how they make you feel like you're actually, like, that's outside, even though we're inside of a store. That is not outside. And of course, who could forget that classic toilet scene? Well, there's a photo op for it. Incredible, incredible. Out of Soundstage 28, and I've come face to face with a Velociraptor. The photo ops in here are just crazy. Like, wow. We got some more merch back here, really based on that like green and red color scheme. And I uh, really like some of the designs here. I really love the material on this shirt. This is Jurassic Park 93, they're in the back. And you can't have Jurassic Park without the iconic gates. I love that this is like a walkway to get to the next room. It's just a picture-perfect view. This tribute store is incredible, especially for the space that they have. Well, I'm just continuously being impressed every single room. Why don't they have this hat again? Like, I would love them to reprint, or I guess re-stitch this hat. I'm a big physical media nut, so I love seeing this Jurassic Park VHS in here. I need to get that in my collection. Hmm. Curious. I love that this final room is all like old Jurassic Park merch, like classic Jurassic Park merch. It really shows the kind of impact that this movie had when it came out. Like there was so much stuff like toys, clothing, signs, like pogs, everything. Patches, pins, every little bit of merchandise you can imagine, games. So, you know, really again, shows the impact of this classic film. And of course, some people show this when they enter, some people show it when they leave, but they have this giant Triceratops, which was from the Boneyard, from the horror makeup show. They've had this in the park for a long time. And it looks great as an accessory to this tribute store, sort of like an entrance facade. You can't do this over in New York. So I think this really makes uh, part of this tribute store really, really fun in this new location. Okay, so I was able to find a shady spot. I'm here in San Francisco, right? But I think this is Lombard's. But I wanted to talk about my thoughts on the Jurassic Park tribute store because I have a lot of thoughts. I think this is a really, really great store. So starting off with the first room, we have that pre-production office. And I really, really love this. This is probably my favorite room just because the amount of Easter eggs coming through this behind the scenes look into this classic movie with models with concept art with maps with all kinds of stuff on the wall schematics they have tvs playing like clips from documentaries so showing the behind the scenes of the movie i think this angle this sort of making of behind the scenes works for the tribute store concept but also works for the location because it isn't trying to recreate these super grand scenes like the new york location could in here are also a lot of great easter eggs to universal you have references to the alfred hitchcock attraction Terminator 2, you have Earl, you have Gerg the Llama. Of course, the stuff you would expect from these tribute stores, you're getting in this one. Of course, this is the most merchandise heavy room. You have a lot of these great 30th anniversary collections. I really love the 30th anniversary logo. I said it a little bit in the video. But you have, you know, the Ian e. Malcolm collection, this in-gen stuff, a lot of stuff referencing the, uh, the, the movie and the characters. I really like how they sort of transformed this original. This is where the Passholder Lounge used to be. Uh, transformed it without totally transforming it. You can still kind of tell, but it's not like the Mardi Gras tribute store where it was super, super obvious. From there, you move into Soundstage 28. Three great photo ops, and this is the closest room to being like the traditional tribute store room, recreating scenes from the movie. The next room kind of continues that as you go deeper into the Soundstage. You have another great photo op with a Velociraptor. So more of the merchandise. This is a lot of the more generic 30th anniversary merchandise, including that great pass holder shirt. But then from there, you sort of transition into the final room, which is where the old uh, Williams of Hollywood prop shop used to be, and you pass through the Jurassic Jurassic Park gates. It was just really great passing through the Jurassic Park gates with the music in the background. It was just really, really nostalgic. And speaking of nostalgia, this final room is all about the nostalgia for Jurassic Park and specifically the products that came out around the time of the movie's release. This room was just a nostalgia bomb for anybody that walks through it, even if you're not the biggest Jurassic Park fan, even if you didn't even grow up in the 90s, it just feels like classic Universal to me. And that's the one thing I will say about the Shrewd Store is it feels classic. And when you're using a property like Jurassic Park or like Jaws and E.T., it's going to be pretty easy to get that because those are really well-known 
famous films. However, it's not just that. I heard a couple people walking through saying, you know, I had this toy when I was a kid, or I remember this when I was a kid. And I feel like that's really the when this story is at its best, it's doing that. It's being nostalgic, being a tribute to Jurassic Park. The way this store flows from essentially pre-production to production to post-production and marketing for the movie really feels like you're following the story of Jurassic Park evolving before you, which is really, really great. So I mentioned merch in the tribute store and uh, they didn't have this freestyle cup in there. They have these at all the stands and the restaurants and stuff, but they have a new freestyle cup for Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. So the Jurassic Park tribute store, for me, A+. plus. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a really good time, but that's not the only reason why we're here. There's some construction updates that I wanna tell you about. So let's head to the front of the park and check them out. Quite possibly the biggest addition since I've been here last is the addition of this new sign for Minion Land. I love all the little minions here. I love that there's a purple one. And uh, this sign's really cool, really big. It's really, it's not showing up on camera how really tall this thing is. Um, but yeah, no walls around it. It is perfectly open to go up to, take pictures of, and uh, yeah, just in prep for the new ride and new land. Not really much to report on the facade of VillainCon. It's still pretty much the same, but there are some changes over this way. I spy another minion up there. Yeah, so right here is the corner where Minions Cafe is going to be. Bake My Day is going to be right there. Illumination Theater is going to be right there where your meet and greets are going to be. And down there, we have Freeze Pops, Bank of Evil, and the Minion Cafe, the entrance of the restaurant all the way down there at the end. Let's go check it out. Here is supposed to be the entrance. You kind of see the cafe lettering there um, up here. There we go. Got a little bit of a better look at it. And then over there we have the Papanana stand. Let's go a little closer. So this is actually the best spot over here by the Jimmy Fallon gift shop. And you can see that stand. It's pretty much looks like done. Looks like they just like popped it right there. Um, they picked it up with a crane and plopped it down. But Means Cafe is coming along. It's not fully done yet, of course. They still need to do uh, top facades and get the signs up, but I'm thinking next month. I'm thinking July 2023 is when this thing's opening. So yeah, really Minions construction is the main thing going on right now. You know, that Minion sign was definitely the big thing I really wanted to show. And a lot of the Minions Cafe facades. If you're unfamiliar, Universal did drop uh, the sort of the concept art for what Minions Cafe is gonna look like. So that's why I was pointing out a lot of those facades. And I have a whole video explaining that. Uh, up here in the cards. However though, before I call it a day, today is actually a really special day and I didn't plan on this. Today is actually Islands of Adventure's birthday. So we're gonna head over to Islands, let's pop through, do a quick little run around, I'll show you guys Poseidon's Fury and everything like that. The adventure begins right here. Well, this is kind of a smoking area. I just love checking out this side of the park. You get to see pretty much everybody. You get to see Seuss, Mythos, Hogwarts back there. There's a Jurassic Park Velocicoaster. You kind of can't see it. There's a tree in the way. And of course, Hulk. Good way to see the park and see a lot of these great rides in action. Of course, you got like the Seuss Charlie train over there. One of the most thrilling experiences in Islands of Adventure, definitely. So it seems as if Seuss Landing is having a little bit of construction over here in the front. Wouldn't mind just getting a new coat of paint. It is a little, a little old, a little dated. Wouldn't be bad to have a fresh coat of paint before Epic opens. Everyone knows about the curved trees. But do you know about the Zax Bypass and how it is one of, if not the first thing ever built for Islands of Venture? No more mist, no more sign, no more temple. This is really depressing. However, huzzah, they have Poseidon's Fury Final Tour shirts, and they have quite a few of them. And I mentioned those new freestyle cups, and they also have a new flavor in the freestyle machines, Wild Refresher. This is kind of a sequel, I guess, to Island Refresher that was here in 2021. I really like this flavor, so I'm really excited to see it back. And I guess it's fitting to tie this back to Jurassic Park by coming to Jurassic Park and Island of Adventure. Here goes Velocicoaster. Here in the Velocicoaster gift shop, we actually have some really cool designs. I love this Welcome to Jurassic Park gate design. They have this in like a shirt and a sign. Of course, Universal wants it to be known that they spare no expense when it comes to Jurassic Park. And there's a few other really cool designs in reference to the movie. But is this a reference to Epcot? And I'm not sure if I said this already before, but a lot of this 30th anniversary Jurassic Park merch is available in places outside the Tribute Store, like the Velocicoaster gift shop, like Jurassic Outfitters. And I didn't see this in the Tribute Store, but I really love this 30th anniversary hat. I think I'm gonna have to 
to get this one. So as you might be able to tell, Universal's really going all out and celebrating the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, and it's gonna be a really, really Jurassic summer. So if you're coming to Universal at any time in the next couple months, be prepared to see some dinosaurs. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog walk through Tribute Store Tour. I wanna to do these more often. I miss the Mardi Gras one, but I wanna do the Tribute Store Tours whenever they do a new one because they go really all out with the details, and I love to showcase that on the videos. And if you just enjoy more Universal themed vlogs, Universal themed videos at large, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be really, really appreciated. I want to thank you all for watching this one, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.